Hi there, I'm Maarten Baljo from JetBrains. In this screencast, we'll have a look at how we can run that cover as a part of our build process on TeamCity, which is JetBrains continuous integration server. TeamCity comes with dot cover bundled for free. This means that during the build process, we can collect code coverage information while running unit tests and other .NET based build steps. Let's set this up and let's collect code coverage while running unit tests. From the build configuration, we can add a new build step. Depending on the test framework you are using, the type of build step to use will be different. For example, MS Test and NUnit have dedicated build steps we can use. When working with other test frameworks, which is the case in an NCFX project I'm building here, we can make use of the .NET Process Runner build step or maybe even take a different approach. I've pre-configured a .NET Process Runner build step for this build configuration, which is already running unit tests. In any .NET build step, whether a test step or a more generic .NET Process Runner step, which I'm using here, we can enable code coverage. At the bottom of the page, we can then select dot .cover as the coverage tool. TeamCity supports other code coverage tools as well, but remember it has dot .cover bundled by default. Once we've selected dot .cover, we can provide additional settings. For example, we can filter the assemblies we want to run code coverage for. Let's add some filter rules. Do check the web help for more detailed information on how you can write these filter rules in TeamCity. We can also specify attribute filters, just like when running dot .cover from Visual Studio. Let's save this build step and run our build. Once the build finishes, TeamCity will display code coverage in the portal. On the build summary page, we can see some key metrics like coverage on classes, methods and statements. We can also drill down into the full report by clicking the link or by using the tab at the top. The full report contains a view on code coverage by assembly. We can click on assemblies and classes and dig deeper. And then we can look at classes and even at their source code, in which TeamCity will highlight covered and uncovered statements, just like you're used to from Visual Studio. Keep an eye on our other how-to screencasts. Until next time.